What's good, fellas? Feel entitled to the pussy. How to feel like you deserve women. How to feel like you deserve sex. Because if you don't feel like you deserve women, if you don't feel like you deserve that pussy, if you don't feel like you deserve sex, you're not gonna get it. So we need to look at how do we get to this feeling, right? How do we get to this beingness? How do we look a woman in the eye and embrace our sexuality? Right? Embrace our masculinity, not be afraid to be a sexual being. First, we got to look at the fact that men and women were put on the planet for each other. We were put on the planet to mate. We were put on the planet to communicate, to socialize, to connect. Right? So we should have no shame and we shouldn't feel bad about wanting to be with women about wanting to have sex with women, about wanting to connect with women, because that's part of our nature. So let's start there. Let's understand the facts. Men and women were put on the planet for each other. Now let's also look at another fact. Not every man is supposed to be with every woman, meaning there's women out there that are for me. There's women out there that are for you. There's women out there who that are not for me and there's women out there that are not for you. And so we have to understand this too. Okay? So if you're not getting women right now or you're not getting uh, the, the type of women you want, it doesn't mean they're not out there. It just means that you haven't attracted them yet. Whether that could mean you haven't tapped into the most attractive version of yourself meaning you have more potential and you need to tap into your potential. Or it could mean you need to go out there and talk to more women. You need to go out there and get in front of more women, which is why, you know, I believe in cold approach so much because cold approach gives you the opportunity to go out there and meet women, go out there and connect with women and have this understanding that there are some women out there who are for you and there are some women out there who are not for you and you have to accept both sides of the coin right so let's look at something else this this feeling of being entitled to the pussy you have to understand that masculinity attracts femininity right masculine energy attracts feminine energy so where am I going with this the more masculine you become the more attractive you'll become to women, right? To feminine energy, the more women you'll attract. So what do I mean by being masculine? You gotta be more assertive, right? You gotta be more penetrating with your energy. What do I mean? You gotta be a go-getter, right? Whatever you wanna do, whatever you're trying to achieve, you gotta put that energy out into the universe. You can't be complacent, you can't be passive. That, that complacent, passive, um, you know, reluctant or hesitating energy is unattractive. You're not gonna attract feminine energy. You're not gonna attract feminine and submissive women if you're not masculine, if you're not dominant, right? And not only that, you have to be grounded in your masculinity. Like this is a key thing. The reason I keep talking about being grounded because if you're just masculine but it's not grounded, you come off as crazy, you come off as too aggressive, you come off as too much because there's no order, there's no structure, there's no vision, no purpose. So you wanna put your masculine energy into a purpose, right? So what I believe is you wanna really look at what speaks to your soul, what, 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 um, what gets you going, what's your passion? Right? What do you truly love to do? And you need to just pour yourself into that. And just and just put that's that's masculine energy. That's assert that's forward moving energy. That's penetrating energy. That's 
breaking through challenges, right? Because when you go after something, you're going to be challenged. You're going to be tested. And the groundedness is created through these tests. Cold approach, the, the, the great thing about cold approach is it gives you an opportunity to become grounded. Because when you go out and approach women, you're going to be tested. These women are going to throw shit at you. They're going to try to throw you off your game. They're going to say weird shit. They're going to reject you. They're going to, And you have to learn how to handle that. And the more you're able to handle that, the more grounded you become, right? Because now you, you, you're not going to be so reactive because you're, you're used to it. You're used to that energy, right? You're used to feminine energy. So then when women show up, you could look them in the eye with confidence because you know you can handle the energy that they're going to bring, right? So if you want to feel deserving of, of women, you want to feel entitled to the pussy, you got to get around feminine energy. You got to be get desensitized to beauty, right? That was one of the things that Coda Approach helped me with. It's like we have this illusion. If you're not around women a lot, you'll have this illusion, oh, she's so beautiful, she's a... She's an angel, this and that. It's not true, man. The beauty is a, a, an illusion. Once you get past the beauty, you see the real person. And a lot of times it's not, you know, it's, it's a lot of issues going on with the real person behind that beauty. I actually have this belief that God, nature, the universe they made women beautiful so that we can look past their bullshit because they have problems. They have issues, man. Right. But their beauty distracts us from that and we still go for them. You know what I mean? It, it is what it is. Right. But it's just understanding, yo, these are real people. These are real souls behind the flesh. Right. And so we need to see them that way. Right. Understand that she needs a masculine man in her life. Right. She, she feminine energy is chaos and she needs a man to bring order to her chaos, right? So when you show up, you gotta see yourself as, I'm coming with what you need, right? You need order, you need a man that can lead you. You need a man that knows what he's doing. That's why you can't show up and like, you don't know what the hell you're doing and you're lost in life and shit. You can't walk up to these women like see seeking, um, you know, masculine energy from them, like seeking leadership, seeking love, seeking, validation from them. No, you need to show up already whole, already um, secure because they are insecure. That beauty is, a, is, is just there as an illusion, bro. So, you know, to, to attract us. But the reality is there's a, there's a soul behind that, that beauty that's, you know, a lot of times it's miserable or, or it's, you know, been through a lot of shit, has a lot of past trauma and you got to show up sh with strength right and so once you know your value once you know that there's women are seeking men but not just like regular men they're seeking grounded and masculine men like real men men that can express themselves authentically men that are not putting up a front men that are speaking from their heart that can speak from their soul men that can truly connect and and she can you know a man she can trust a man she can trust man that's why we need to open up. Like one of the things I had to work on was I had this tough guy image. I always was trying to be tough and I started opening up more. I started being more authentic, more vulnerable with these women and they started responding better. But I stayed, but the key thing is you got to stay masculine and grounded because you don't want to come off as a pussy. Like pussy is not going to attract pussy. That's for sure. So if you act like a pussy or get too soft, you're not going to attract women. But it's like this, it's this balance and you will learn this that's why that's why I love cold approach because it gives you opportunity to practice right to practice being a masculine man maybe you haven't been being masculine most of your life maybe you've been passive and you've been kind of you know on some weak shit cold approach is your opportunity to to practice to work on yourself man to, to face your insecurities these women they will bring up your insecurities they will reflect your, your weaknesses and stuff like that. And it's an opportunity for you to grow. And by going through this process, like if you really want to feel like you deserve women, it's when you work on your character and you know you worked on your character and you know you, you, you're doing your shit, that's when the confidence comes. It's not a fake confidence. Like I'm not telling you here to have fake confidence and pretend like you deserve women. I'm telling you to work on yourself. 
what is cold approach so cold cold approach so what I mean by cold approach is you see a woman that you don't know who she is right and you approach her right and that's a cold approach because this, she doesn't know who you are so it's not like you're leveraging a social circle or you're leveraging some kind of uh, she knows you from somewhere anything like that she you know it's cold right so similar to like doing uh, cold marketing like cold sales cold calling but yeah it gives you an opportunity to work on yourself because when you do a cold when you cold approach women these are women that will never see you again so it gives you an opportunity to make mistakes right I worked on being more dominant with women through cold approach I worked on being a leader I worked on being more attractive. I worked on expressing myself authentically, right? I worked on different things. I tried being a little funnier, you know? I tried different things, man. I tried out different, I, I, hey, I tried out some pickup lines. I'm not a big fan of it, but I tried it out. Man, we gotta go out and experience life and work on our character and get to understand ourselves more. Understand what works for me, right? What works for me may not work for you and what works for you may not work for me, but you, we gotta go out and test shit out and try shit out. And there's an energy, like when you, it's, it's another thing that you wanna look at here is falling in love with your life, like falling in love with living, falling in love with making mistakes and getting back up, falling in love with growing, falling in love with evolving, falling in love with the ups and the downs, right? Enjoying all the moments of life. It's not an easy practice, but it's attractive because most people can't do that. Most people are miserable. One little thing happens and their whole day is ruined. One rejection and they can't sleep and shit like that or they have no more self-worth and shit like that. So that's another thing. It's like if you can go out there and talk to women and work on yourself, respect, man. Respect. Whether you get the woman or not, the fact that you're working on yourself, you're building your character, you're a rising stock. You're getting better each day. And once you know you're getting better each day, you start to feel more entitled to women. You're like, yo, I deserve a woman, man. I'm doing my shit. I'm handling my shit. I'm, most guys are bullshitting. Most guys are being passive. Most guys are making excuses. I'm out here doing my thing. I'm growing. I'm evolving. And you need to, you need to start loving yourself and like patting yourself on the back. Like you're doing your shit, man. You are a prize. When you walk up to a woman, you got to feel like you are the prize. She's not the prize because you're bringing the masculine energy that she's seeking. Right? So another thing we want to look at here is you want to become, you want to be emotionally impactful. Right? Um, like you don't want to be the kind of guy that just it shows up like background noise or he's just kind of, you know, he's just there. You want to show up with value. So you need to work on qualities that are attractive. And what's, what's an attractive quality? It's simply a quality that stimulates others emotionally, right? Like when somebody shows up with confidence, you could feel that. It feels good to be around a confident person because it rub, it's, it's um, what's the word? It like rubs off on you, you know? It's contagious. Right, it's good. It feels good to be around a guy who's happy, who's in love with life, because it's con contagious. Like that can be your value. Just become the kind of guy that creates positive emotions for people. Right, the way you do that, that's the art. You might do that through your communication. You might do that through your talent, your skills. Maybe you, you know, whatever you bring something to the table, something interesting, something of value. Right. Because that's what it's all about, man. It's, it's emotional communication. How can you, how do you make women feel? How do you make people feel when you show up? Right? So once you get around women and you, and you start getting good, like working on yourself, work on your communication, work on, you know, your, your physique, work on, you know, you want to hit all the senses. You want to smell good. You want to look good. Right? You want to feel good. Right? You want to sound good. You want to hit all the, 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 the senses. Right? Because, the, you know, I talk about this all the time. It's like you're creating a movie. Your life is a movie. And you're the star leading role in your movie. Right? So you need to design yourself. You need to design your character. Like, like make yourself cool as fuck. You know what I mean? 
And when you put this work in on yourself, like the reason I could look a woman in the eye and feel like I deserve that pussy is because I put my work in on myself. Like I don't, it, it, I, I deserve that pussy because I deserve it. I put my work in, you know what I mean? It's not like I, oh, I hope she likes me and shit like that. No, I know she's gonna like me because I've worked on my communication. I've worked on my physique. I worked on my style. I worked on my understanding of female psychology. Right? I've went out and had different experiences and had different references. I've learned from different guys. You know what I mean? So when you do all these things and you, and you work on your character and your beingness and you know what you bring to the table, you're going to feel entitled. So really what I'm saying here is we really need to tap into our potential. Right? Because that's... that's the more attractive you become, the more you'll attract women. It's as simple as that. So we just need to really focus on how can I become attractive, more attractive every single day? What can I do? What is in my power, right? What is in my control that I can do to make myself more attractive each day, right? Let me stop bullshitting. Let me stop blaming others. Let me stop making excuses, right? How do you manage haters? Okay, so yeah, haters is definitely a part of it. How do I manage haters, bro? To be honest with you, I understand haters. I understand what's happening there. If somebody is hating on you, it's because they're not in a good place in life, okay? I've, I've yet to come across somebody who's doing well in life who's happy with, with their life and they're on their purpose and they're doing their shit, that's hating on people. And if that person is hating on people, there's something going on in inside, right? On the inside, right? He's dealing with some emotion, some trauma, something's going on. So I actually understand if somebody's hating on me, they're not doing too well. And I actually feel sorry for them, right? I feel sorry for them. So I, I just don't I just don't get caught up like I don't see it as a threat. I understand that they're they're trying to they're trying to leech onto my energy. They're trying to bring me down. They see somebody trying to do something, so they're gonna try to bring you down, right? Because they see you as a threat. They see you as competition, and that's a good thing. That's what you want. Somebody just said, if you got haters, hell yeah, bro. If you got haters, you're winning. Exactly. Right, the, the haters show up when you start doing something, right? So if you're if you don't have any haters, that means you're not making enough noise. You gotta be doing more. You gotta be doing more shit. You gotta be taking more action. You gotta be more assertive. You gotta beast out more because you should have haters. People should be hating on you because they see you shining. And what it does, what does it do to them? Right? It makes them feel like, oh shit, I ain't doing nothing, man. That's why they're coming and hating on you because they start feeling bad about themselves because somebody is taking responsibility for them for their life. Somebody's actually moving forward. Right? So it's just having this understanding like, okay, yeah, haters are going to come and it is what it is, man. I'm still going to do my shit. Still going to do my shit. Right? I focus on the people, my, the people who support me. You know? I got to make them proud. Right? I got to make myself proud, but I also want to make the people proud that, that are supporting me. Right? And so I just shift my focus. I just don't focus on haters, man. I don't give them any energy. I don't give them any time. It's as simple as that. All right. The shit, the shit is way more authentic. I hey, appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. So, yeah, feeling like you deserve women. Feeling like you deserve that pussy. If you focus on evolving... Because we got to look at it. What are, what are women looking for? They're looking for the best man they can get, right? Right? The, the best man they have access to. And so I see it like this. If there's a certain type of woman I want, I just have to show up and, and demonstrate that I'm the best man you have access to. Right? So if I'm not getting a certain type of woman, all that means to me is I just need to level up. It's not... It's not like we have no power here. We have the power to level up. Like you can work on yourself every single day and keep improving, right? And then I use cold approach to go and test out where I'm at, 
right? So I go out and approach women to see how they're responding to me, you know? And I, and I can clearly see, like, I remember when I just started, do, you know, going out and approaching women, I wasn't really, you know, doing too well, right? I was getting rejected because I didn't know my value and I didn't know how to communicate and stuff like that. But over time, I worked on that. And as I improved, I started to get better results. And so it made sense to me. Okay, I see what's happening here. The better you are at communicating in an attractive way, the more attractive you are, right? Because you can be, you can have value, but if you don't know how to communicate it, then women aren't going to get it. Right, so you got to be able to communicate your value. You got one thing I had to work on was like being a little, not being a show off, but just understanding you have to show your value because people only know what you show them. Right, so if you don't show your value, like one of the things I used to, okay, so I play the piano, right, and I used to just keep that to myself because I used to think it was, uh, you know, it's kind of soft to play the piano, it's kind of soft to sing. But then, I don't know, one day I just said, man, fuck it, man. Like, let me, sh let me start showing off playing the piano and, and singing. And I started attracting women, right? Because it's value. I'm communicating value. You got to demonstrate your value, man. Don't keep, your, don't keep it to yourself. Don't, don't feel like, oh, something people, will, you know, some people are going to judge me. Yes, of course. Like, I put my music out. Some people judge me and say, oh, whatever. It's not that good or whatever, right? But some people love it, man. And that's why that's what I said in the beginning. There's women out there. There's women out there who are for you and there's women out there who are not for you. And there's people out there who are for you and people out there who are not for you. Like you just have this understanding. So when I communicate, like when I even when I do a presentation like that, like this, I'm speaking to the people who understand me, the people who relate to what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not worried about the people who are not going to get it, the people who are going to judge, the people who are going to be negative. Because those are not my people. And so that's how, what we need to understand. It's like the same thing with women. Like if a woman rejects me, I don't take it personal. I'm just like, okay, that's not my girl. Okay. Let me, but let me move on. Let me not be attached to that situation. Oh, I got rejected. So now I suck. No, I don't suck. That's just not my girl. Right. Or if I want to look at it differently, I could say, okay, let me level up. Right. And, and I'll see you. I'll see you in a few months and let's see what happens, you know? Because, you know, you can, you can meet a woman right now and maybe things don't work out right now, but a few months later, she'll be on your dick, right? Because you done leveled up and she can see that you leveled up and now she wants you. And, and by, by that time, you're not even going to want her anymore. You know what I mean? Because you, you, already, you already met other girls and you already got other shit going on. Now she's trying to come back, you know, so... But look, man, if you really want to feel entitled to the pussy and feel like you deserve the pussy, bro, you just got to really work on yourself. So I would say work on your archetype. Become a sexy archetype. Become as sexy as you can. Do what you can. If you could work on your physique, work on your physique. If you could work on your communication, work on your communication, right? If you could work on your style, do that. Whatever you have uh, access, whatever resources you have access to, utilize that. Don't worry about what you don't have. Worry about what you... You know, think about what you do have and just leverage that. Use that and improve yourself every single day. Okay? That's the first thing. The next thing is understand female psychology. Okay? Get to understand the, the true nature of women. Right? They're not these nice, cuddly angels that we've been told that they are. They have a nature that's pretty brutal, actually. Right? They're seeking value. They're seeking value. So if you don't show value... They're going to step on you. They're going to shit on you because you're not demonstrating value. We, we have to become as valuable as we can. And understand, right, that value is, is, uh, is perceived, right? It's a perception, right? So what may be value to one person may not be value to the other. So you just got to find out what is your value, right? Like what, what is your gifts? What is your talents? What can you amplify? What can you work on to make yourself interesting, how can you communicate emotionally to people? What, what can you do that's going to create emotional experiences? Because that's what women are seeking. They're seeking emotions. They want to feel good, man. They want to feel good. So how can I communicate in a way that makes her feel good? Right? That's why I, that's why I use the example of a movie. Right? Because a movie, when you watch a movie, if the movie's done really well, you, you feel stuff. It's emotionally impactful. So we want to be a, a star, the star in our movie, and we want to be emotionally impactful in our beingness, right? And how we live our day, right? From morning till night. 
it literally starts from the morning. Like if you don't have a morning routine, you, you're doing yourself a disservice, man. You want to work on yourself in the morning. As soon as you wake up, create the, create the, the type of man that you want to be for the day in the morning. Right? So one of the things that I do is I wake up early, right? I, I literally have been waking up at 4 a.m. for like months now. Okay, and I just cut it back to 3.45 a.m., right? And it's, so, it, it's a simple thing, just waking up early. I'm not saying everyone has to do that, but for me, it keeps me disciplined. That's a characteristic, that's a very masculine characteristic, discipline, right? Because that's order, right? Masculine energy is order. That's so discipline. That's something that is, is, is I value, right? And I demonstrate it, and, I, and I'm not trying to pretend like I'm disciplined. I really want to be it. Right. So the, 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 the advice that I give is let's actually become attractive. Let's actually become confident. Let's not try to pretend. Let's not f try to find a pickup line. Let's not try to find a gimmick. Let's actually become who we need to become to feel deserving of women. Right. And to be attractive to women. So. So yeah, your morning routine, right? I wake up at 4 a.m. The, the next thing I do is I listen to affirmations, right? I want to program my mind to be the type of man I want to be. I listen to affirmations that say, I am powerful, I am strong, I am confident. Sometimes I'll listen to stoic affirmations, right? Basically affirmations that, that help me to not get caught up emotionally, right? And be more disciplined and be more um, assertive and more... Um, more masculine, right? And then after I listen to my affirmations, I go and work out, right? I want to challenge my mind. I want to challenge my mind. I want to, why do I want to challenge myself so early in the morning? Because I know as I go through my day, I'm going to be challenged, right? Life is going to throw challenges at me. People are going to throw challenges at me. And so I want to put myself through challenge. So I challenge myself first. So then when I go out into the world, I'm ready to be challenged because I already challenged myself. You see what I'm saying? I already know the feeling. I'm already in the feeling of being challenged, so I'm ready to go. All right, so I do the workout. After the workout, I do a cold shower. Why? I want to challenge myself mentally again. Do the cold shower. Then after the cold shower, I write my goals down. Why? Because I want to live my day with intention. I want to live my day with purpose. I want to know where I'm going, right? Because when you show up, as I said, our value as men is we're bringing order to the chaos. Feminine energy is chaos. So if you don't know where you're going, how are you going to bring order to her chaos? You're, you're showing up as chaotic too if you don't know where the hell you're going. So being clear on your goals and your purpose is, is another thing you want to have. Like this will help you to, to embody that masculine energy because masculine energy is, is forward moving energy in it and you want it. You want to have somewhere you're going. You don't want it to be scattered all over the place because that's chaotic. And that's actually a feminine trait. Being chaotic is feminine. Right? So I write my goals down. I get clear on my goals. I listen to some positive, um, you know, information, whether it's a podcast, whether it's a video, whether it's an audio. Right? And then I read. And then I begin my day. Right? I have my day scheduled. I have my day structured. I have it set up. Right? And I'm doing my shit, man. I'm on my purpose. Okay? Like, you want to be on your purpose. Here's, here's another thing I want to tell you. It's like, I, hear, I see some men, they, they understand, okay, I, they need to be on their purpose. But don't, don't um, let being on your purpose be a reason not to enjoy women too. Like you can enjoy women while you're on your purpose. Actually, there's women out there who can complement your purpose. You just have to communicate who you are to these women. That's why authentic expression is so important. Because you got to be able to express yourself authentically so you can connect with the right women. Right? If you're putting up a facade or trying to be a certain way or pretend to be something that you're not, you're going to attract women that are interested in that facade that you've created, not the real you, not the authentic you. And so you're going to attract the wrong women. So that's why authentic expression is so powerful. But it needs to be grounded. right? It needs to be grounded in the sense that you want to be expressing yourself authentically, but there has to be some intention and some purpose behind it. Right? So, so yeah, so pretty much, you know, if you want to feel like I'm, I'm, I'm basically going to wrap this up because I don't want to just keep, I feel like I'm about to start speaking in circles, right? So essentially, if you want to feel like you deserve women, 
see women as feminine energy, right? If you want to attract feminine energy and feel like you deserve feminine energy, you got to be in your masculine energy and you got to be grounded in your masculine energy, okay? Now, once you're grounded in your masculine energy, you need to be able to authentically express yourself, but ex authentically express yourself with value, right? So what is my value to women, right? The way I see it, value is just being able to impact women emotionally. So give her the emotions that she seeks. How you do that is up to you. That's the art. It's experiences. What experiences can I create for these women, right? That's because that's what attracts them. Like uh, the reason why some people say, oh, if you want women, get a lot of money. There's some truth to that. But what does the money represent? It represents the experiences that the man can create with that money. Why do some women go for guys with high status? Because of the experiences that guy with high status can create. Why do some women go for good looking guys? Because there's a certain experience she's going to get from that good looking guy. So what experience can you give to women? Right. If you if you're not super rich, if you're not high, super high status, if you're not all those things, figure out what is your experience. What are you going to do for the world? How what is the value that you are going to demonstrate? And while you're demonstrating your value, you should be like, I believe as a man, we should go for all areas. Right. So we should increase our income. We should go for high status. We should uh, become as, as good looking as we can. But be unique in the way how you do this. Right. Because if you just show up like trying to be like somebody else, then you're easily replaceable. Right. Like if you just show up, oh, I'm just going to rely on this thing that every other guy has. Then she, you know, if you if you make a mistake or whatever, she'll just move on to the next guy easily. You're easily repla uh, replaceable. That's why you want to be authentic and unique in who you are. You want to let your 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 true expression come out, your true soul come out. Right. The, the uniqueness of your character, let it shine. Because that's what's going to separate you from other men. That's what's going to make you irreplaceable. That's what's going to keep women around because they know there's no other guy like this guy. You want you want the girl to look at you like, yo, this guy is is one of a kind. Right. He, he's a he's a force of nature. He's he's like an alien. He's like from a different planet. Like you want to show up like that because you, you have a combination of qualities a combination of qualities that make you valuable and make you different from every other man. But at the core of that is grounded masculinity, authentic expression, and the ability to move in that, move forward with that masculine energy. So be that ability to lead, right? It's like when you meet a woman, the, the vibe is supposed to be, I'm going somewhere. You can come with me if you'd like. That's the vibe. The vibe is not, Oh, you're so beautiful. I'll follow you around. I'll do anything for you. No, that's not what gets the girl. That That's what gets you in a friend zone. What gets the girl is you show up as a king. You show up as a king who's building a kingdom and you're basically qualifying her to see. Do you measure up to be a part, you know, to, to be in my kingdom? Right. So you're qualifying her. So the, the best way to put this is like. You got to see yourself as the shit, right? Because you're, as I said, you're a rising stock. You're going somewhere. You're moving forward. You have a purpose. You're clear on your purpose. You know what you're doing. So she needs to qualify herself to you. You don't have to qualify yourself to her. You, Yes, you should demonstrate your value, but understand that you are holding the position of power, okay? And that's why I said, like, man, cold approach will help you, man, if you, if, you know, I really believe in this shit because it helps you to desensitize yourself from beauty. Because I know there's certain things that, that hold us back from being the man we want to be. And one of them is beauty. Like beauty can kind of hypnotize you and then you just fall into it and shit like that. So you want to you wanna get around women, man. So you can desensitize yourself from that beauty. So you're not in that trance where you can't think straight and you can't be a man, you know. So you want to get out there, man, talk to women, get these references, get these experiences. Because I tell you, one of the things that helped me with my confidence is I basically went out and approached a lot of women and went on a lot of dates and had a lot of experiences. So I'm not unfamiliar with feminine energy. I'm not unfamiliar with women, right? So I, when I walk up to them, I'm not uncomfortable. You got to get comfortable with feminine energy, right? And you got to get comfortable dealing with feminine energy as a masculine man because there's some... 
guys who they've been around women, but they haven't been around women as a masculine man. You see what I'm saying? That's a whole, that's a different vibe. That's a different dynamic when you're being masculine and grounded and you're being dominant and shit like that. And, and, and embracing your sexuality, that's a different vibe. And you might not be used to that type of energy. So you got to get used to it. And one last thing, man, don't, because I know what I know what's holding back most men is the fear of rejection, fear of judgment, basically fear. Don't let fear hold you back in your life, man. Because fear, don't, fear, all it does is it keeps you safe. It keeps you where you are and it, it, it halts your growth. Right. It stops your growth. You're not going to grow if you're living in fear. Right. You got to say fuck fear, man. Right. You got to be able to look, understand that fear. Let's focus on being courageous. Forget about being fearless. Focus on being courageous. How can I feel fear and still take action? Right. That's part of masculinity. That's part of masculinity is being able to feel fear and still take action. That's the masculine energy pushing through the barrier, pushing through the obstacle, which is fear. And, and do it in manageable doses. Like, work your way up. Don't overwhelm yourself. Oh, you know, this uh, Trey's talking about code approach. I got to go out and pick up girls right away. No. Get comfortable with talking to a stranger first. Get comfortable with saying hello to people and build it up. And then you can get to this point where... You could walk up to a woman and look her in the eye and communicate authentically and express yourself and be okay with whatever she says because you're not attached to the outcome, right? And, and the more you do this, the more you'll start believing you are the prize because you'll start being the man who you truly want to be. And you'll start to feel like you deserve pussy. You deserve women, right? Because you have value. All right. So I'm going to end on that note, man. It's, it's all about us becoming the most attractive version of ourselves, being the, the exact type of man that we want to be. That means tapping into our potential, right? And choosing and, and, and leaving the old identity behind, right? There's an old version of Trey that I left behind and I tapped into this greater version, this more powerful version. Right. And I continue to evolve. And that's all we need to do as men is continue to evolve. And become more impactful in our communication and become more attractive. All right. So I hope this presentation was helpful. If you're someone who you're looking for support.